Today, I'm going to share with you how to make homemade chocolate syrup. Now, many of you might have already seen my previous video. I am just going to recreate it here. And once we have made our chocolate syrup, I am going to apply it and make ice tart mocha. Now, why do you have to make your own homemade chocolate syrup? Well, I can guarantee this is easy to make, also very delicious and even better than commercially bought chocolate syrup. One thing is for sure, you know exactly what goes in there. For the ingredients, we need dark chocolate powder. I'm using my blend here. You can use any dark chocolate powder, at least 70% dark. I'm also going to make it with Milo just to mix it and make it budget friendly. If you don't want to use Milo, you can skip the Milo and just replace it with pure dark chocolate powder. I'm going to use evaporated milk. I'm going to use condensed milk and then also hot water. We'll start by putting all our chocolate powder there. This is my 70% dark chocolate. Add your Milo and then add the hot water. We're going to make a no-cook chocolate syrup. Okay, make sure that is fully dissolved somewhat. Okay, make sure there are no lumps in there. And then we're going to add evaporated milk. And finally, condensed milk. This can is 300 milliliters, so I'm just putting it straight from the can. Make sure you scrape everything out of the can. Now, how long does this chocolate syrup last? This will last for at least one month refrigerated because everything that you put in here are shelf stable, really. We are going to pour it into a pitcher here. There you go, homemade chocolate syrup in less than five minutes. Dissolve your chocolate powder completely in the hot water before you add all the wet ingredients. Otherwise, you will have a lumpy chocolate syrup. If you do get a lumpy chocolate syrup, very simple. All you have to do is to warm the mixture and then make sure that you stir it again to dissolve all the chocolate powder or lumpy powder in there and you still have your chocolate syrup. Okay, now I'm going to make use of my newly made chocolate syrup and make my dark mocha. First, I'm going to use my cool down espresso here. If you haven't yet seen my video tutorial on how to make mocha, then you might as well check it. And also, all these recipes are in my book, The Basic Barista. Okay, so two ounces or 60 ml of my chocolate syrup. Wow, it is smelling really good. What do you use chocolate syrup for? It is used to flavor your drink. It is not used for topping or rolling because the texture of chocolate syrup is more fluid than your regular chocolate sauce. And finish it off with milk. Ice dark mocha using homemade chocolate syrup. That's very easy to make, isn't it? So we have here a deliciously looking dark mocha using my homemade chocolate syrup. Now, before we end this video clip, I shouldn't forget to give this a try. Deliciously looking dark mocha here. Mmm. Wow, there is nothing that is extra in this one other than chocolate and milk and nothing else, no preservatives. So there you go. This is a delicious dark mocha. Once you have finished using your chocolate syrup, what you can do is put it in a bottle and you can keep this refrigerated for at least one month. The ingredients are shelf stable, condensed milk, evaporated milk, they should keep well for at least one month. There you go. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know, comment below. I'll see you again for more of these cost-saving tips and also making your own homemade syrups. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.